Hello! Here is my Series 1 Apple Watch. I've used it for years and it's still pretty cool. But should you buy one today? Watch this video to find out. First off, this watch comes in 38 or 42 millimeters. Some people say the 38 millimeter version is too small, but personally, I think it's the perfect size. It's super light and you can comfortably navigate in every menu, but if you have a big wrist, then get the 32 millimeter one. Speaking of the Retina display, it's really sharp and you can see the time even in a sunny day, but it doesn't have always on. Let's just be serious though, this screen is less than 2 inches big and I doubt you'll be watching videos or photos on an Apple Watch, unless you wanna cheat on tests, of course. One of the things I can't stand about this watch is the battery life. When it was new, I would usually get 2 days of use, but now, after 3 years, at the end of the day, it completely dies. It's pretty difficult to replace the battery yourself if you don't have experience with opening this kind of devices and letting Apple replace it isn't worth it due to the price being too high. So unless you have the skills to replace the battery, find one that still holds a good charge. This Apple Watch is also missing a lot of the features you can find on newer models, but don't consider this to be a deal breaker. It can still track your exercises, display notifications, and most apps are supported. This watch also has 8GB of storage, so you can install a lot of apps and trust me, you'll never run out of space. Speaking of the design, you can flex perfectly fine on your friends, but it doesn't look that good compared to newer Apple Watches. The only thing left to talk about is the price, and here is the fun part. You can literally get a good condition box one between $50 and $75, and for this reason, I can only tell you to buy this Apple Watch. Sure, it doesn't look as good as the newer models, and it might be missing a few features, but for this price, you can deal with it. Just be very careful when buying one, as it's pretty easy to confuse it with the Series 0 Apple Watch. To make sure you get the right one, ask for the model number or a photo of the back of the watch case. So I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any doubts, or you're not sure on which Apple Watch you should buy, feel free to ask in the comments. Bye!